Welcome back to Math Review families and friends. Today's math lesson focuses on doubles and doubles plus one. We will use this strategy to help us solve for a total or a whole and also help us count more quickly. Starting off first with our math vocabulary, we're going to review unit. Unit is the thing, the stuff, or the items that we are counting. As for an expression, expression is another word for number sentence. Solution is another word for answer. To start off our teacher model, we're going to go ahead and count by twos. Watch me as I show you how to do this. Using your pinkies, show me one and one. Great. What's the number sentence that matches this? That's correct. One plus one equals two. Great. Now go ahead and show me two and two. What's the number sentence that matches this? That's correct. Two plus two. Great. Now show me three and three. What's the number sentence that matches this? That's correct. Three plus three equals six. Show me four and four. What's the number sentence that matches? That's correct. Four plus four equals eight. Now show me five and five. What's the number sentence that matches? That's correct. Five plus five equals 10. Now let's practice together. Take a look at the screen. Without counting one by one, how many dots are there? Go ahead and tell a friend or someone in your family. Great. There are six. How did you know though? Go ahead and also tell that to someone in your family. I saw doubles. I saw three on the left side and I saw three on the right side. That makes six. Let's try another one with our cards. Take a look at our cards. Without counting one by one, how many dots are there together? Go ahead and tell someone in your family. Great, I also thought there were eight. How did you know though? Tell a friend or a family member. I saw doubles. I saw four and four, which makes eight. Great, now let's try one last one together. This time in a 10 frame. How many dots without counting one by one are here? Yep, I also agree. I think it's eight. I see four on the top and four on the bottom. That's also known as doubles. Now that we have practiced looking at doubles and seeing them, we are going to now practice doubles plus one. Without counting, how many dots do you think are there on our screen here? Go ahead and tell a friend or a family member. That's correct, there are seven dots. How did you know so quickly though? Turn and also tell a friend or a family member. Great, now let's take a look at our 10 frame picture. How many dots are on the top? There are four. How many dots are on the bottom? Yep, there are three. Now go ahead and put your eyes back on the top row. We said that there were four dots, but I have a hidden number in there that will help me with a double. I see a hidden three inside. 
Give me a thumbs up if you also see a hidden three inside the four. Great, now let's take a look at the bottom row. We also see that there are three dots down here. When we have similar numbers like that, three and three, we call those doubles. And then we have a remaining extra circle or dot out here. This is a doubles plus one. We have three plus three, which is a doubles, plus one equals seven. And that's how I can use the double strategy to help me count more quickly and to help me solve more efficiently.